Hey guys, Reversal here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. I'm currently holding my cell phone in my hand because I have a couple of 5k eggs that I want to hatch. And the reason why I'm doing this in this video is because there is a change when it comes down to egg hatching. Apparently some Pokemon are switching up, so hopefully I'm going to be able to pull these Pokemon uh, from a 5km X. So that being said, let's just jump straight in, open up and actually see what is going to be inside of this X. So doing the first one right now, this is a 5k. It's pretty hard to move yourself in without touching. First one is going to be Ponyta. I'm not going to appraise them or anything like that. Second one. And Meowth. <laughs> that is, after this event, Meowth is the last thing I want to get, honestly. Next one. I think there's two more after this. Hopefully going to be able to pull this one. Diglett. That's interesting. I haven't had a Diglett for a while here. Next one. Oh, I didn't have a Lucky Egg on. Dang. I just, re well, it doesn't matter. Out of anything. <laughs> if this one is a Drowsy or a Zubat. Is it? Is Zubat even? I don't think Zubat is possible. Come on. Give me the one that I want to get. Goldeen. No. That's not the one that I wanted. But you know what? That's completely fine. The reason why I'm making this video is because there's more news in Pokemon Go. First and foremost, there's been a couple of threats on Reddit. I've been following Reddit closely, as I always do after the update, because new things might come to light. And in this particular case, I did write on checking on Reddit. It's right now 3 a.m., but that's completely fine. There's a couple of news topics that I want to talk to you guys about um, oh, after this update, really. After the update rolled out, if you haven't seen the update announcement video about a daily quest coming to Pokemon Go, be sure you check out the link in the description down below or just go to my most recent videos to find out more about that. So, uh, there was actually people uh, saying that the moment you were locked inside of the game, you could, ch you could actually see your Zubats, your Drowsies, your... Ghastlies and so on and so forth. You can actually see them change back to the old Pokemon. So that means that what has happened uh, during this event quest is quite literally that uh, what Niantic has been doing is swapping up the Pokemon spawn. So if you have like a, let, let's say if you have an Eevee nest nearby your house, what would happen is they would change into Ghastlies or Haunters and now they're changing back. But alongside with that, they actually had a uh, nest migration right now. The official sixth nest migration is upon us. So your spawns are changed. After this event, uh, your spawns have been changed. And uh, my Scyther spawn turned into a Poliwag spawn. Not really happy with that. But there's a cluster Eevee spawn nearby my house. Around my city, you're going to be finding a whole bunch of Mr. Mimes. Um, Vulpix is what I've seen, uh, instead of my chops, you also see some Voltorbs, and then apparently there's a charm in the nest, uh, nearby a place I used to play quite often, so I might visit down there again. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments, what are some of the spawns that you're aware of, some of the nests, and that have actually changed to a different spawn. Uh, I've also seen reports of people getting new nests as a result of this change, so that might be very nice for you guys out there. And then the last thing I kind of want to jump into this kind of a shorter type of video and that is that some people have already discovered that Eevee from this point of forward is now dropping from 5 kilometer eggs and that's kind of the reason why I wanted to showcase these egg hatches at the beginning of this video um, so Eevee right now is I think removed from the 10k's and then shifted towards the 5k's which to be honest it's quite sad uh, considering the fact that me myself personally and I, I know a lot of you guys out there with the 10k hatches actually got yourself some Eevees but rest assured you know I don't, I don't mind this happening now I mean it's better to have this now than it happening, you know, never. So, I'm quite happy with this change. Uh, I already started up a poll on uh, Twitter saying which is the next one that needs to go. And majority call Pinsir a Pokemon they are not excited for at all. And I completely 
understand where you're coming from. And then they also need to change it that Mr. Mime is also available in 5Ks because the other regional exclusives are also in the 5k ag so i honestly don't understand why mr mine would be a 10 kilometer uh ag exclusive i've also seen one person uh, saying that uh, he managed to get an ev from a two kilometer ag i honestly don't believe that um i think it's uh, maybe it is maybe it is i don't know i want to hear from you guys in the comments open up your 5k your 2k ags see what's going to be inside there share your results in the comment section down below and lastly i want to let you guys know obviously because evie is now going to be hatching from a five kilometer ag uh, the candy is going to be a little bit less as a result of that but that's completely understandable i mean you want to have the snorlax the Lapras and maybe a Dratini in your 10k eggs anyway. Why would you want to bother with an Eevee, right? So it's all great. You're honestly going to be having an increase of chance of getting these cool Pokemon. Anyway, with that in mind, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, the vlog will be up tomorrow. Um, you guys already got the second video of Pokemon Go. So hope you guys are looking forward to it. I'm still editing the video and everything like that. So I'm just going to invest some more time into making that video as good as it can be. So yeah, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, this is the reverse for Pokemon Go. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to stay up to date with the latest of Pokemon Go news, I kind of uh, take pride in the fact that I'm always trying to bring you guys the news first. So if you guys want to know what is up then make sure to follow me on twitter and also to subscribe to the channel this has been reverse for pokemon go i'm gonna be signing off and i'll see you guys in the next one